President Biden campaigned on a promise to um, stay true to the spirit of transparency. Why then, how is it possible that the White House did not reveal the presence of these documents prior to the election when they were found? Again, the President spoke to this personally uh, yesterday. You heard him at the press conference. He laid out uh, he laid out uh, what he knew, and he talked about how important uh, and how he sees this as a serious matter when it comes to uh, classified documents and information. He talked about when uh, about how he was surprised to learn uh, about the records uh, that were that had been found there, uh, and uh, he laid out his process and his thoughts. I'm just not going to go beyond that. Again, we released information that was very transparent, uh, meaning the, the information that you all got received from the White House Counsel's Office. And uh, I'm just, I, I, I know, I, I just, I know you all are going to have a lot of questions. I get that and I understand that, but I'm not going to go uh, beyond the process that's currently happening at the DOJ. Does it undercut the President's <clears throat> promise of transparency? that these documents were not revealed for several months after the White House discovered them. But look, you know, so when his lawyers realized that these documents were there, they turned them over to the archives. They did the right thing. They turned them over. All I can say is what the president said yesterday, I would refer to his comments. But they did the right thing by, once they learned of them, they turned it over. They turned it over to the archives. About it. Again, that's, this that's is the question. I understand the question, but there is an ongoing process. It's being reviewed by the Department of Justice. Just when it is appropriate for us to say more, we will. Otherwise, I would refer you to the White House Counsel's I, Office. I do want to be very clear about something you said. Make sure I understand you. Following up on one of my colleagues who asked you, you have not spoken to the president about this. You were were you traveling with him well, when no, he I, made this public? No, statement? the way I heard the question is, have you talked to the president about the documents? And I'm I'm. He doesn't know what's in the documents. That's the way I heard the question, so that's the way I was answering you the question. talked to him about the revelation of these documents. Yes, we okay. talked about the CBS story. We talked about the revelation of the documents, obviously. But about the documents itself, what's in them, that is something that the president doesn't even know. And I'm just going to leave it there. Okay, has he conveyed to you when he was briefed? And if not, can you go back and get that I, answer? I, 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 I've not talked to the president about that. What I can tell you is I know you all have a lot of questions. There is an ongoing uh, process here. And so I'm just going to let the process One more finish. Quick before. follow. I want to let you respond to former Vice President Mike Pence. Um, who talked about what he and some other Republicans are calling a double standard with the Department of Justice. Um, Mr. Pence said, the kind of double standard that we see being practiced by the Biden administration in the wake of this incident in the Justice Department, I think is exactly what undermines public confidence in our justice system. Again, as soon as his lawyers uh, realized these documents were there, they did the right thing and they turned over the documents to the archivists. That's what they did as soon as they realized uh, what was, the documents were there. Uh, and uh, his team is cooperating uh, fully with the review. Uh, again, there's a review happening by the DOJ, uh, and we're just gonna let the process move forward.